As the city of Eagle Mountain continues to explore its energy future, residents got the chance to sit down with experts Monday night to talk about all things nuclear power. Some of those residents, like Joy Rasmussen, have no shortage of concerns. It's mainly the location. They want to put it inside the city limits. The second thing is the cost. Uh, taxpayers will be funding nuclear reactors. And so there were no shortage of questions for this panel, which featured guests from the Idaho National Laboratory, the state's Office of Energy Development, and more. We want their concerns addressed. We want experts in the field to address them so that it's not just the city government doing this. Dr. Matthew Mamat from BYU says these small modular reactors have made great technological strides. It's largely the fear of radiation which holds them back. In reality, the world is awash with radiation. And if we can't handle even the slightest bit of radiation, we should not be living on the planet. The panel noted that while large plants have an evacuation plan which is done out to 10 miles, for modern SMRs, that can be sized down to the boundaries of the nuclear site. Not because they're sacrificing the standards are the same, it's just that they're so much more safe that distance you can be and still be totally affected is much, 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 much smaller. City spokesperson Tyler Maffitt says they hope Rasmussen and others can walk away from this town hall feeling more informed and the city can feel more confident in its decisions moving forward. We want people to feel really, really good that this is a scientific approach and not just a political one. With learning opportunities like these now under their belt and the legislative session at a close, Maffitt says the city will soon look to make its next steps from a policy perspective. In Eagle Mountain, Jeremy Toms, Fox 13 News, Utah.